My name is Tanner Ray, and today I will be informing you about the ACL's importance. <coughs> there are up to 200,000 ACL ruptures yearly in the United States, and only half of which are properly taken care of. With an injured or torn ACL, you, have, you may have to limp for the rest of your life and never be able to run again. Personally, I can relate to this subject because I have severed my own ACL off of my thigh bone. Those who have not injured or torn their ACL need to know the risks involved, how the ligament works, and the best surgeries available to them. <clears throat> First off, let's talk about the risks involved with an injured ACL. An imbalance of any part of the body can lead to injury. The knee is no different. Sean Scanlon, in his 2014 article, Loss of Knee Extension After ACL Reconstruction, states that the ACL can be injured through a mild sprain, a partial tear, or a complete tear, <coughs> which could take 9 or 12 months to rehabilitate. If the injury is not properly treated, there are high risks of injury. In Steve Olson's article, Reconstruction Options for a Torn ACL, he shows that risk associated with that option can cause continued instability results in the knee giving out. Also, it, can call, it causes falls and or damage to the secondary stabilizers of the knee. With previous reconstruction surgery, the new ligament will provide a stronger support for the knee. <clears throat> but the other knee is also more likely to be injured due to excessive usage. Now that you know the risks involved in tearing an ACL, let's examine how it functions. The ACL performs by attaching to the femur on one end and to the tibia on the other. The anterior cruciate ligament, ACL, is the smallest of the four ligaments in your knee. According to the June 2004 article, the Amer American cheerleader, Stephen Kay, explained that your ACL is a piece of connective tissue that lives deep inside the knee. You cannot touch it, but whenever you twist, run, jump, stop, start, or cut laterally, your ACL is working to keep your shin from sliding away from your thigh bone. Without the ACL working properly, your knee would wobble and move around as you turn your body. Once the ligament is torn, you should look immediately look into options for repairing the ACL. The surgery with the most success is known as the graft selection, which is the patient's choice of choosing a replacement tissue from their own body or from a donor's. There is no perfect graft selection. They all have their advantages and disadvantages, just depending on the properly chosen patient. The tendon most commonly used comes from the calf muscle. The second most common is the ham from the hamstring. According to the Cedar sinai website of repairing anterior cruciate ligament injuries, one possible long-term effect after surgery is osteoarthritis. <clears throat> which is a type of arthritis that occurs when flexible tissue at the ends of the bones wears down. It is very common, but only after a long period of time. It cannot be cured, and it even lasts for years, possibly lifelong. <clears throat> Those who have not injured or torn their ACL need to know how it functions, the risks of tearing it, and what surgeries may accompany them best. <clears throat> Everyone is different. Without a correctly functioning ACL, you could lose up to 90% of stability in the knee. Surgery provides the patient with a stronger ligament, and especially with how much we are advancing in technology today. Any usage of the ACL while it is injured only increases your risk of collapsing and injuring your other knee. 99% <clears throat> of all ACL surgeries will experience no problems. One out of every 1,750 will have a minor complication after their operation. Earlier in my introduction paragraph, as I stated, I currently had ACL surgery, and here are a few pictures I'll show you. Down in the bottom right is the completely severed ACL bone, and in the left is where the surgeon is cutting it out. <laughs> Secondly, down in your bottom left corner is where they are replacing screws to hold the ligament in place, which in five years will turn into calcium 
and just be like a bone. And then towards the end of the surgery, I have a picture in the bottom left and right of my surgeon testing the strength and durability of the new ligament he has applied. Thank you.